All right, thank you, Sue. Happening right now, MSU's new medical center is opening in Grand Rapids. You're looking live at uh, live pictures here of the medical center. We're just moments away from the ceremony marking the occasion. It is a project years in the making, and it's being looked at as the linchpin for the future of the medical mile and development there. 24 Hour News 8 Sand Sheeper is there tonight investigating the impact. Ann? Well, Brian, we talked to several people today, business owners, experts in the medical field, and all agree that this is going to be a very positive thing for the Grand Rapids economy. Now, already you can see signs of optimism. Homeowners pumping money into properties in older neighborhoods down the street from the medical school. Then there are nearby businesses, coffee shops like this one, who believe the medical school development has protected them from the recession. And what's funding this drive? Well, the best thing, outside dollars. So there are many forms of subsidy for physicians and medical students. Um, those subsidies will come from outside. It's some of our tax money coming back to us, but also tax dollars from communities that don't have medical yeah. schools. Now at 6, we'll take a closer look at those outside dollars and how those come into play and an intangible economic benefit that a lot of people don't even associate with a medical school. We're live in downtown Grand Rapids, Ann Schieber, 24-hour News 8. Thank you, Ann, for that. And we'll see you again at 6 o'clock. And to get a little bit more perspective on that new building, it cost $90 million to build. It's seven stories tall, 180,000 square feet. It houses labs, classrooms, and offices. And you can tour that new building tomorrow morning. There is an open house from 9 until noon.